Okay, um, what I'm going to be looking at in this video is uh, straight line equations and taking linear graphs, uh, linear equations, and looking at them graphically. And in this, we're going to use an example where I've got these two coordinates. A is, has coordinates 3, 2, and B has the coordinates 8, 5. And we're going to find a few things about them. Um, the first thing that we're going to find is the distance between A to B. What is the actual distance that you would measure? Okay, If you had these points plotted accurately and you measured them with a ruler, what would you find? Okay, We can use um, a little bit of math in order to do this incredibly accurate. Well, exactly, find the exact answer. Okay, So distance is one of those things that is re uh, has really been worked with for thousands of years and in this case is something that we can use um, or work out using Pythagoras' theorem because what we can do is we can turn this into a right angle triangle and if we look at and we think about that that is 3 and that is 8 okay then the distance uh, the base of this triangle has length 5. The height of this triangle is going from 2, okay, from that given by that coordinate, up to 5. So the height of the triangle is 3. So you can work out the distance of from A to B by trying to find the length of that line. So the length of the opposite side using Pythagoras' theorem, let's call this, um, well, let's actually just write that as AB. So AB squared is equal to 3 squared plus 5 squared. Okay, using Pythagoras. 3 squared is 9, 5 squared is 25. So 9 and 25 is 34. So the length of AB is equal to the square root of 34. Now don't get confused in the sense of um, uh, where we did uh, changing the subject to the formula. And I introduced the square root and it brought about a plus minus. Um, yes, in effect, the square root of 34, uh, if, well, if you square root 34, then really you should become a get a plus minus, but because we're looking at distance, you can't have negative distance, so we're only looking at the positive number here, okay? So AB is equal to root 34, which is about 5.83, okay? And you should really check that just to make sure that it is a side that is longer than 5 and 3, because it has to be, because it's the hypotenuse of the triangle. Okay, so that is how you can work out the distance between any two points on the Cartesian grid, okay, on the coordinate grid, using that method. So draw a triangle, use Pythagoras' theorem. The next part is find the gradient of AB. Now, what do we mean by gradient? Well, if we say we have a, a road has a steep gradient, it has a steep incline, okay, it's going up at a steep angle. So the gradient is a measure of how steep the line actually is. Okay? And we measure that by thinking about, well, for every one, well, if I go this way, for every one I go along, how much do I go up? Okay? Um, so you could think of that if you were walking up, uh, if you were comparing roads, if you were thinking about uh, trying to determine which was the steepest road, then going, if you move one metre horizontally, how far have you moved vertically would be a way of determining uh, or measuring the difference between these roads. So we know that this line goes along five and up three. Okay, so we can measure the gradient by looking at how far it's moved up divided by 
how far we've moved along. So it's the difference in the y's, the difference between the 5 and the 2. Okay, so we could write this as 5 minus 2 divided by the difference in the x's, which was 8 minus 3. So 3 over 5, or 0 0.6, is the gradient of this line. Okay, and that's how you can work out the gradient of a straight line like that.